This question is from Ramesh. Namaskaram Sadhguru. After inner engineering around three years ago, anger has almost disappeared from my life. Other day I heard you mention that Sadhguru Sri Brahma was so intense that he was always angry. Since that day I, ha I have this question in my mind. Am I not intense enough and are there other people who lose their temper? Are they more intense than me? During the lockdown period, we are talking after the lockdown, okay? During the lockdown period, it so happened, Shankaran Pillai's wife had gone to her mother's parents' place and she got stuck there and he was stuck in their home. So she called at the end of two months and uh, you know, all these days there were concerns about you are they going to live or die, so it was all about that, but now when she called because she's about to come back, How's the house? Have you kept it well? Shankaran Pillai looked around and said, uh, well, all the house plants are dead. But don't worry, some, it looks like some are growing in the refrigerator. <laughs> so, my anger went away and it's nice, but Sadhguru Sri Brahma was angry. Well, his anger was a way of uh, beating himself up because he was on a single point mission in his life. When somebody has a single point agenda to their life, uh, well, you look at him, you know, pictures here probably. Veerappan will look cute <laughs> like that. Hope uh, these days I don't know who is doing this. Definitely, I don't think it's from the foundation, but somebody has access to these things and uh, they're putting out all my pictures before Dhyanalinga consecration, where. <laughs> when you have a single point agenda to your life, you become in a certain way. And uh, people who have single point agenda, the yogis do these kind of things. They take a bite from a scorpion because they don't want to forget their goal and sleep. One scorpion sting, It'll keep you next twenty-four hours, bang, you know, the nerves will jangle. Or they will cut their finger and put a lemon on it, it'll pulsate. Have you ever tried it? <laughs> it'll be... it'll be going like that, like Shruti box, pain. So you're never going to sleep, you're never going to forget what your goal is. So similarly, you can do similar things psychologically. You put a pin into your head, but all the time it's hurting, so that you don't turn here and there. So when people have single point agenda, uh, different people handle it differently, some people handle it like that. He was not angry with anything, he was simply angry. Simply just like that, which is difficult for you to do. You need a reason to be angry. Somebody should do something that you don't like, only then you're angry. You're not simply angry. And above all, anger is something that costs so much energy. Most human beings cannot be angry intensely for more than two minutes they will dissipate. Intense level, they may maintain rancor, they may maintain resentment. See, whenever you have been angry, just see, it's just few seconds or 
maybe a minute. After that, you only have maintain resentment. Resentment is sim, anger in sim. So it gets low poison. Anger is full poison. To stay that way all the time without getting killed is not easy. So this is a certain kind of sadhana. This is coming from a culture which was bred because of an extraordinary situation. Because Adiyogi himself, when he came to Vailangiri Hills, he was angry with himself. Because he failed, he's not somebody who likes to fail. He's not used to failure. So when he failed, he was just angry. It took him three, three and a half months to cool down a bit. Because of that, he left certain kind of energies and he bred a certain type of yogis who took to the same thing because their sidekicks, whatever Shiva does, do the same thing. Like a lot of people, <laughs> because they saw Shiva ash smeared, they're also head to toe ash smeared. Because he looked intoxicated and they couldn't get it, so they started smoking. <laughs> they just, they're just cute. <laughs> they, they are so enamored by him. They want to be like him some way, they carry the trishul, all these things, it's a certain culture which has been bred like this. So, Sadhguru Sri Brahma came from that kind of space and above all, failure. He did not want his life to deviate for a moment, so he put a pin in his head, so that when there is pain, you can't think of anything else. You can experiment and see. Take just an office pin and stick it. You will see, you can't think of anything else. Your whole attention will be right here where you stuck it. So he stuck a pin in his head so that the pain will keep him on it all the time. The pain of failure. Otherwise, when you eat a good meal, you may forget your failure. Life works out well around you, it's a beautiful evening, you'll forget your purpose. So he doesn't want to fail this time, so he put a pin in his head, so he was like that. You know when somebody's in pain, they very easily get angry also. Hmm? You're in pain, if anybody touches you, oh! So, even if anybody passed by, <coughs> because conscious pain created so that no looking here or there, just this. You don't take that as an example. Well, I'm here. I can also yell at you if you want, if that's what you like. The important thing is, that it's conscious, it's not compulsive. So if you have come out of it and you're missing it, you may get it, yes? This is the thing about consciousness. I've seen this happening to people around me sometimes. We initiate them into something big, big energy. In three days' time, they will ruin themselves because they have funny ideas what they can do with it. The moment they feel little like this, they think, we can heal this guy, we can do that, we can manipulate this, that. In three days' time, they are totally messed up. It's... unfortunately, I've seen a few incidents like that, but I must tell you another one, a classic one. 
Well, uh, there was a girl who had a very serious asthmatic condition. That kind where every two weeks she's in hospital for two to three days, just simply not able to breathe. Probably most healthy people won't understand what is asthma. Right now, I hear this virus is giving that experience, it's like drowning. Your breath is going away, but it doesn't go away. It's like through the night, it'll rake the body. Today there are all kinds of, you know, cortisones and steroids and things, so people are finding relief. Otherwise, if you had seen asthmatic patients thirty, forty years ago, oh my god, I have seen some extreme ones. It'll just go on for hours. Literally they beg, they want to die, but there's no relief. Today, the moment this happens, they will take steroids and stuff, it just quietens down. You don't see people suffering like that anymore. They can easily fix it, there's enough medication. So, extreme case of asthma. Then I saw this girl, spiritually fired up, but body not supporting. Then I stepped out of my line and did something with her. Asthma went away. About a year and a half later, she's sharing in a program. And she says, I was an asthmatic like this from my childhood and I suffered so much. But now it's gone, last one and a half years, it's wonderful. And then she says, I'm almost missing it. I was sitting there, I said, what? You're missing it. Well, she got it that night. That's how life is. <laughs> so don't ask for things of that kind. Keeping your vision on one thing that you want is important because as you get empowered in terms of human consciousness, it's very important that you keep the steering wheel straight. Once you have a vehicle which is powered up big time, if you look here, you'll go and crash there. If you look there, you'll go and crash there. It's better you be a stationary vehicle, as most people are. 